Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the Future Trends Forum. We're very, very excited to have Doug Belkin. Doug is a reporter who works for the Wall Street Journal. He's based in Chicago, and he's been writing a lot about higher education and business over the past year. I've, I've characterized you as a reporter for the Wall Street Journal who works in higher education. What are some of the big topics that you're writing about this year? So I've been on the higher ed beat for six years, and the six years. sort of yeah, the theme uh, of this year has been disruption and, and what that mm. looks like, what it's uh, uh, how it's impacting schools, uh, the folks who are trying to profit from it, uh, the folks who are whose whose ox is potentially getting gored uh, by it. Um, so those are the big themes that we've been looking at this year. Richard works in the uh, Clayton Christians Institute and he wants to uh, join us. No, I, I think you guys really hit the major highlights that we would like to think about a lot, especially the faster and cheaper pathways. We're in constant touch with mm. the Ryan Craig's of the world and the Adam Bronze trying to figure out what they're what they're working on. Hello, Brian. Hello, everybody. Thanks again for letting me uh, uh, share the stage with you folks. Uh, the comment I have is that uh, as colleges contract, uh, it will not mean less education and less learning, uh, rather that the education will simply happen someplace else and that is, uh, that is more relevant or accessible to learners. There's this whole idea that skills and proof of skills will supplant the credentials, which have become more of a, a, a signal. Um, but, but that signal is getting weaker, uh, you know, because of grade inflation or whatnot. Doug, I love your sort of thoughts about the trajectory of ISAs for this country. Well, one thing occurs to me, and that is that schools have resisted kicking and screaming, having any skin in the game in terms of the outcomes of the students who are going to their schools. And that's been, I think, um, um, bad for higher education. It seems like the assumption students are gaining knowledge to validate schools at the academy in the form of a credential, but in fact, students might value the transition into a new ecosystem. The status quo at universities with regard to um, learning gains is it's been the, the single largest frustration that I've had in as a reporter. It is a black box that is very difficult to pry open. It's the central thing that universities uh, purport to do. My fantastic guest, Doug, what a treat having you on here. Um, it's really been a pleasure. Well, please keep writing. Your work is vital, and uh, I hope we all get to read it. Thank you. Thanks. Very kind of you. Thank you.